In a massive embarrassment for Canada, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has admitted that Canada only provided some intelligence inputs and has no hard evidentiary proof against India. India is set to become the first nation to receive MQ-9B drones equipped with two DAP-6 gun pods, each containing the M134DH rotary machine gun, that has the capability to fire 3,000 rounds per minute. The DRDO is looking for private industry for the design development and testing of 20 flight-worthy air launch to AVs. Safran Data Systems has expanded its footprint in India with the inauguration of a new state-of-the-art facility in Chennai. India's Samtel Avionics has signed a contract with the Malaysian Air Force to equip its fleet of Su-30 MKM fighter jets with multifunction displays and head-up displays. India's Skyber Aerospace has entered into a multi-year partnership with Dubai-based Sibia Technologies to sell its UAV systems in the Middle East and Africa. The Indian Air Force has issued a project sanction order to two Indian firms, for the indigenous design and development of a lightning detection system. A research report reveals that China has built 22 villages and settlements within Bhutan's traditional borders. According to a media report, a possible compromise on the MRFA tender might happen very soon. While the previous air chief favored acquiring the full 114 MRFA fighter jets, the new air chief is more receptive to an alternative solution, that includes a government-to-government -government contract to procure 36 Rafale F-4 fighters from France, with an option to acquire another 36 Super Rafale F-5 fighters at a later stage. This phased procurement approach will provide an immediate boost to capabilities, while preserving room for indigenous programs like the Tejas Mark II and AMCA to mature. The DRDO is working to outpace Russia's Zircon nuclear-capable hypersonic cruise missile, and the goal is to develop a missile capable of achieving Mach 12 speed, making it extremely difficult to detect and almost impossible to intercept. The hypersonic cruise missile will be available in both land-based and naval ship-based variants, and the DRDO will also explore the development of a nuclear attack submarine launched variant in later phase. Indian Air Force's fighter squadrons are down to an all-time low of 31, and with AMCA's squadron entry timeline slipping past 2035, the speculation has begun that the Russian Su-57 remains one of key interim choices for India. A retired Air Marshal of the Indian Air Force has said, that the flyaway cost of Su-57 is reportedly around $35 million per aircraft, that makes the Su-57 nearly half the price of the Chinese J-20. He also stated, that the choices are far and few, and the time to exercise is now, or India will get left far behind. The Indian Air Force has started receiving deliveries of Joint Direct Attack Munition Precision Guided Kits, that is expected to significantly enhance the capabilities of Tejas aircraft, by enabling it to carry out strikes with greater accuracy and precision. The kits can convert existing unguided bombs into precision-guided smart munitions, that will equip the Tejas aircraft with the ability to target enemy bunkers and runways at distances of 80 km and beyond. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.